This video will cover the topic, solving an exponential equation by using substitution and quadratic factoring. When we are given an exponential equation and asked to solve for a variable, we can use substitution and quadratic factoring to find the solution. Say we are given the exponential equation, e to the power of 2x minus 6 times e to the power of x minus 7 equals 0, and we are instructed to round to the nearest hundredth if necessary, and to separate our answers with commas if there is more than one solution. First, we will need to make sure that the equation is in quadratic form. How can we tell if this equation is in quadratic form? Since e to the power of 2x can also be written as e to the power of x to the power of 2, this equation is currently in quadratic form. Next, we will use u substitution. We will set u equal to e to the power of x and use this to substitute u into our equation. Why are we using u substitution in this problem? Good question. u substitution allows us to solve this problem in simpler terms without changing the solution of the equation. We will substitute e to the power of x back in for u at the end of the problem to solve for x. After applying u substitution, our equation now looks like this u squared minus 6u minus 7 equals 0. Then, we will factor to solve this quadratic equation. We need two numbers that multiply to get us negative 7 and add together to result in negative 6. These two numbers are negative 7 and 1. Negative 7 times 1 equals negative 7, and negative 7 plus 1 equals negative 6. These numbers help us find the factors of the equation, u plus 1 and u minus 7. Setting each of these equal to 0, we see that u equals negative 1 or 7. So is our final solution negative 1 or 7? Close, but not quite. Remember we must undo the u substitution we applied earlier so we can solve for x, not u. Since u equals e to the power of x, the following is true. e to the power of x equals negative 1, or e to the power of x equals 7. Our final step is to solve each of these for x. We can do this by rewriting these equations in logarithmic form. x equals the natural log of negative 1, or x equals the natural log of 7. It is important to note that the logarithm of a negative number is not defined. Therefore, x equals the natural log of negative 1 is not one of our solutions. Knowing this, we can write that our final solution is x equals the natural log of 7, which is equivalent to approximately 1.95. Let me see if I understand all of this. To solve exponential equations by using substitution and quadratic factoring, we first make sure the exponential equation is in quadratic form. Next, we apply u substitution. Then, we factor the quadratic equation to solve for u. Finally, we undo the u substitution and solve for x. That all sounds correct. Great work! 